I want to tell you about the funniest book I've edited in my 32 years in the publishing world. Is This Anything by Jerry Seinfeld, one of the funniest people in the world, obviously. And the title refers to the question that comedians ask each other when they're coming up with a new bit. Is this anything? Well, Jerry has been collecting those bits ever since he began performing in the 1970s straight out of college. So this is his best material and it follows the trajectory of his life. So it's kind of like an autobiography in jokes. One of the things that makes Jerry Seinfeld so brilliant is that he can find meaning and comedy almost everywhere he looks. After he was done performing, he would sometimes just take a walk and go to the grocery market and look for material. He has a whole commentary about life cereal. So Jerry sees a box of life cereal as an example of life's arrogance. He writes, what do they see in their little square oat cereal that makes them think that it should be named after our very existence? Jerry also has an observation about funerals in this book that really stayed with me. You know, um, we've, we've all heard the saying that most people are more afraid of public speaking uh, than they are of dying. But Jerry was the only person I know of who actually put those two thoughts together. Um, and, he, and he realized that that means that to most people, if you have to go to a funeral, you would rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. That's why Jerry has such a great comic mind. Um, he also has an extraordinary work ethic. He's been rewriting these bits that he's been performing for decades, and he was rewriting them right up to the moment that we published the book. Um, now, when he recorded the audiobook, it was one of the easiest productions that we've ever had because he'd been performing the material for decades, and I would heartily recommend this audiobook to you because it might be the greatest comedy album of all time. Um, now, this book has changed the way I think about what inspires comedy. Um, and, and Jerry has a lot to say about where jokes come from. He writes that it's some emotional cocktail of boredom, aggression, intense visual acuity, and a kind of silly putty of the mind that enables you to reform what you see into what you want it to be. I began to think of Jerry Seinfeld and his bit about life cereal regularly because I happen to eat a lot of life cereal. And for those of you who've ever struggled with it the way I have, it is impossible to open. And so I wrote to Jerry and I said, Jerry, why haven't you ever done anything about the plastic bag of life cereal? How impossible it is to open. And he told me that actually, uh, back when he was a kid, they did not have cereal lining. I was thinking about Jerry again a few months later when I was walking through Dwayne Reed and I saw another person who was only wearing the mask halfway. I think we've all seen these people. They don't cover their noses. And I was so frustrated by it. And so I wrote to him and I said, Jerry, we got to do something about the people with the exposed nostrils in the Dwayne Reed. And I felt a little bit like Kramer when I was saying it. Um, but I really thought, you know, maybe. And I said, Jerry, you know, is this anything? And he wrote back and he said, yeah, that's a bit. I do highly recommend the book. Uh, it is as funny as it comes. Um, and that is the word according to Carl.